welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now, back when I posted my workspace tour video, ever since then I've been promising that I'm going to do this video. This white drawer unit you see behind me, this video is pretty much going to be all about it. When I showed this to you guys in my workspace tour video, a lot of you were interested in it. You wanted to know what it was, where it was from, and how I store my makeup in it. To be honest, I was not even looking for a new way to organize my makeup when I stumbled upon this. I was shopping at Ikea with my mom and she called me over all of a sudden and she found these and they actually said that they were a last chance item which I took to mean that they were like on clearance or something but I did check and they do have them available online. The name of these drawers is Sprut? Sprut? There's no umlaut over the U so it could be Sprut, I don't know but that's how you spell it. And even though I've put them together, this is actually three different pieces. I have two of the long skinny drawers and one of the shorter and wider drawers. Now as far as categorizing and labeling these drawers, they come with these like fluorescent yellow and pink cards that you can use to label. I chose to turn them around to the other side so it's all white and just clean and neat looking but if you want to jazz it up you can definitely use the pink and yellow sides and of course once you've got your label made all you do is slip it in right there if you're a geek like me you probably own a label maker I like label everything so that definitely came in handy for these drawers because each one of them has its own little window for you to put a label in now my main goal with organizing my makeup in this um, drawer set was to take all the stuff, all the makeup that I had in my other drawer set that's in the closet, so messy, so messy, you guys. Like stuff that I haven't used in so long, just a complete mess. So my aim with this was to categorize everything in a way that was um, that made them easy to find and also put out the stuff that I use regularly so I have maybe like a quarter, even maybe even less of the stuff in here than I had in my other drawers. So you can see here with the way that I have labeled the drawers. First of all, these are my go-to brands. The ones that you see here are the ones that I use the most. Some of them you'll see it's just the name, for example, like Charlotte Tilbury or Lorac. Those uh, only have the name because I don't have a huge selection of products from them. But then you've got the brands like Urban Decay and Tarte. Those brands I have a lot more items from, so I've categorized them to things like skin, lips and cheeks, and eyes or palettes. This way it makes it much easier to find products that I'm looking for rather than just to do one drawer of one brand and put all my products from that one brand in there. So if I'm just looking for a lip pencil or something, I have to rifle through all of these different palettes and foundations just to find it. So this way I have smaller drawers and just a smaller selection of stuff in each drawer. You guys have no idea how much easier this has made my life so far. I'm way more organized than before and I'm a fairly organized person to begin with, but with makeup for some reason it's so easy to just throw things everywhere and just get really messy really quick. And another thing about the way I've organized in these drawers, you won't see like perfectly placed items. It That just doesn't work for me. It might work for other people like putting them in the little acrylic individual spots. Um, again, that might work for some people. It doesn't really work for me. For me, again, making a smaller selection in smaller drawers is more than enough for me. It's just easy to find everything when I need it. All right, let's go through these drawers. The first one up is Galactic. One of my favorite products from Galactic is the Matte Lip Paint. This is probably one of the best matte formulas and the colors are gorgeous. Next up is one of my favorite brands, Hourglass. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Hourglass that I don't love, but you guys know I use that arch brow sculpting pencil all the time. Makeup Forever is one of those brands that I have a lot of products from, so I separated it into eyes and skin. As far as skin goes, these are some of my absolute favorite products, especially that um, HD foundation stick for contouring. Next up is Benefit, and I would say that the best products from Benefit are their highlighters and of course the Hoola bronzer. The What's Up highlighter is so amazing, so is the Sunbeam, but I think I like the What's Up a little bit better. 
And of course NARS, you guys know I love NARS because I use their Radiant Creamy Concealer in practically every tutorial. Another one of my recent favorites from them is the Velvet Matte Skin Tint, perfect for every day. Now Urban Decay is one of those brands that I just obsess over. Everything they release is so incredible. On the left I've got skin and on the right I've got the palettes and you guys know that their palettes are bomb including the brand new Vice Limited Reloaded. One of my recent favorites lately is Natasha Denona. You guys, everything she makes is so incredible and this isn't everything I have because some of it is in my makeup bag, but among my favorites are the eyeshadow palettes. They are so velvety, smooth, and pigmented and amazing. And you guys know I've been loving Lorac for a long time now and I think their best products are their pro eyeshadows. This is the Mega Pro Palette and the Mega Pro Palette 2, which are limited palettes, but you can still get your hands on their regular Pro Palette and the Pro Palette 2. Ah, Charlotte Tilbury, what don't I love from her? Her blushes are amazing, her eyeshadow palettes are amazing, that setting powder is amazing. It's just pretty much all amazing. And Jouer is a brand that I love for really natural looks. They've got a great range of neutral shades, and their highlighters especially are very good, including that liquid luminizer. I've had several favorites from Too Faced. You guys know I love their Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and their Born This Way foundation is my current go-to. Always been a big fan of Too Faced. And finally, Tarte. You guys know I have a lot of Tarte products. I've got three drawers, one with palettes, one with lips and cheeks, and one with skin, I probably need a fourth one. But I just love Tarte's products, especially their Brazilian tanning products. And in my lips and cheeks drawer, I have this big blush book because it's got a great range of blush colors. So that's it for my current makeup collection. You might notice that it was a smaller collection of stuff than you might have expected. Part of that is because, like I said, I'm not done with everything yet. My Makeup Geek's not there, my ColourPop's not there, my brushes aren't there, but part of it is also because, like I said, I moved a bunch of stuff from my old storage unit into this stuff. So in organizing my new stuff, I sorted out a bunch of brand new, unopened, untouched makeup that I want to give to you guys. Yes, it's a giveaway! I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, and since I'm coming up on my million pretty soon. I just thought about the fact that so many of you have been with me since I was at like 10,000 subs and I feel like we've sort of gone through this journey together so I sort of want to give you guys a token of my appreciation for just coming along this journey with me. I feel like we've sort of grown together. Um, so what I did was I put aside all the stuff that again was unopened, unused, we're talking tart, Lorac, Galactic, Urban Decay, um, gosh, what else? ColourPop, Too Faced, Murad, Benefit, Sigma, Hourglass. I'm probably leaving out so many names, but the point is, get excited. Now, I know that YouTube has changed its rules about how giveaways are done. I actually didn't know this, I learned it recently, but you can't do giveaways randomly anymore. It has to be based on some kind of merit. And I'm actually not going to host the giveaway on YouTube because in the past I've had such a hard time getting in contact with the person who's won and all that. So you have five opportunities to win. There will be five winners, one on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and my blog. So if you're not on any of the social media platforms and not to worry, you can go to my blog, MissMaven.com, and enter there. You can enter on all five platforms as well, but there will be five different winners. This is an international giveaway since I'm mailing everything out myself. Um, and here's how to enter. So since this has been a journey that I've sort of shared with you guys, I want you to send me either something like either your favorite thing about my channel or like a memory that you have with my channel. You can make a GIF or GIF, whatever it's called, a photo, it could just be text, it could be funny, it could be sentimental, it could be something that means something to you, just something that um, has to do with like, you know, your favorite video or like a funny moment we had, something like that. So you can make me laugh, you can make me cry, whatever you want, just something that you think is special. Um, about um, my channel or something you remember about my channel or like an interaction we've had, something like that. So I'm gonna go through all the entries and sadly I do have to pick one per platform so that's a total of five winners. I wish I could give 
a gift to every single one of you, but that's pretty impossible. So for now, this is the best I can do. And actually this won't be my only giveaway. Got another kind of fun thing coming up. Maybe another giveaway, maybe three, I don't know. We'll see, but this definitely won't be the only one. Now I know I just blurted out a bunch of stuff. Not to worry, go down into the description box and I will have every single detail written out for you guys, how to enter on each platform, what hashtag to use so I make sure I see it. Um, all the details will be down there, so not to worry. I wanna thank you guys so much for just, you know, watching my videos, giving me your time, so I hope this is um, an, a, a, an adequate um, thank you to you guys because I, I don't think I could ever thank you enough for um, just the support and the time you've given me the past few years. As always, thank you so much for watching and as of the moment this video goes live, the giveaway is officially open and it will go for one week. So I will announce the winners next week on Monday. I don't know what time Monday, but I'll think about it and I'll write it down in the description box. Love you guys so much. I'll see you soon.